In conjunction with one of our professional installers, Tyrone from Auto Editions will bring you a step-by-step -step guide to installing the MaxView Roam Motorhome and Caravan Wi-Fi system. If you are a competent DIYer, you may be able to complete this installation yourself. However, many of our customers will use a professional installer. You can go to our website and go to the Find an Installer tab to find the closest one to you. Here are the contents of the Roam Wi-Fi kit. The router, which takes a 4G internet signal and creates a Wi-Fi hotspot for your vehicle. The antenna, which is 5G ready, can be mounted on the roof of your vehicle, greatly improves reception and gives you the highest signal strength possible. A 12 volt cigarette lighter power supply, which can be modified to fit your vehicle's fuse board. A clip to securely fix the router in your vehicle. A clamp to fix the antenna to the roof. And finally, a LAN cable, which can be used to plug devices such as smart TVs directly into the router for maximum speeds. Firstly, decide on where you will have the router installed inside your vehicle. The antenna should then be located on the roof above that location. If the antenna cannot be mounted here, consider a different location. In this video, the router will be installed in a cupboard and the cables will be routed through the roof down into the cupboard. As shown, it is essential to use a suitable cleaning agent to clean the area where the antenna will be placed. This ensures a good seal between the antenna's EPDM seal and the roof of your vehicle. After this, ensure the roof area is dry. This template comes with the instructions of the kit. It shows the measurements of the hole which is required to thread the cables from roof-mounted antenna to the router. Here, Tyrone marks the ideal spot on the underside of the roof prior to drilling. Now Tyrone will drill a small hole from the underside of the roof. With the space being smaller inside the cupboard of the vehicle, this method allows for accurate drilling when it comes to making the full-size 25mm hole for the antenna. Now using a hole saw, the full-size hole is created. Now place the antenna in the newly drilled hole, threading the cables through into the vehicle, not yet peeling off the EPDM seal. Align the arrow on the antenna to face the front of your vehicle for the best aerodynamic performance. Draw a pencil line around the antenna so that when it comes to sticking it down you know it is in the right place. Peel off the protective layer and carefully place the Roam antenna onto the roof of the vehicle in the desired position. Firmly press down to ensure maximum adhesion. With the cables running through the roof, we can now use the roof fixing clamp to further secure the antenna and ensure a good seal. Before fitting the clamp, it may be necessary to cut it down, depending on the thickness of your roof. Thread the clamp up into the hole and screw until tight. Use a screwdriver to fit the small retaining screw to prevent the clamp from becoming loose over time. Pencil around the area where you would like the router to be secured, then secure the router's clip to the wall using the screws.
Attach the two antenna cables to the two mobile outputs on the router and attach the router to the previously attached clip. Place the 12 volt power supply into the power outlet and plug the other end into the router. Alternatively, you could cut the 12 volt cigarette lighter power supply off and fit appropriate crimp connections and wire into the vehicle's power supply. This shows the router plugged into the power supply with everything connected and good to go. Use the provided pin to take out the SIM card tray and place your SIM card into the router. You can also use the provided Ethernet cable to create the fastest possible connection between a device such as a smart TV and the router.